Now, Jeff Bezos' space company Blue Origin has launched its new Glenn rocket on its first fully commercial mission, transporting its first set of commercial payloads, among which are two NASA science satellites heading to Mars. Importantly, the space technology company has also achieved a successful landing of its booster back on Earth. Now, the 32-story tall new Glenn rocket lifted up from Cape Canaveral in Florida, marking Blue Origin's first mission since New Glenn's inaugural test flight back in January. A live webcast showed the rocket rising through thick plumes of fire and vapor, powered by seven B4 engines, burning more than 1,270 kilograms of fuel every second. The launch had been delayed for days due to cloudy weather, a geomagnetic storm, and two last-minute holes. Now, a few minutes after liftoff, the rocket's reusable first-state booster successfully separated and touched down on a barge in the Atlantic. A maneuver that failed during the January test mission owing to an engine fault. The impressive feat elicited appreciation from none other than Elon Musk. Congratulations, Jeff Bezos and the Blue Origin team. And this is what, is, what he wrote on X. The primary mission of New Glenn involves deployment of NASA's twin escapade spacecraft into outer space. The dual spacecraft are designed to orbit Mars together and study how solar winds interact with the red planet's magnetic field and thin atmosphere. The two spacecraft, nicknamed Blue and Gold, released from the rocket's upper stage about 30 minutes after launch, beginning a 22-month cruise to Mars before starting an 11-month synchronized orbital mission. Satellite operator Viasat also has a payload on board, a technology demonstration that will stay attached to the upper stage to test an in-space relay system above Earth. Now, the flight marks Blue Origin's most ambitious science mission to date and its first working partnership with NASA on a major deep space project.